It's such an important topic right now, the Syrian crisis, and I can only imagine it's going to be the same and maybe get uh, worse over the next few years. And so young people are kind of the opportunity for the next generation um, to deal with it in a, a better way than I think our generation has and to really approach it from a place of empathy. And I'm, I'm hopeful that having young people watch Hamza, that they'll, they'll choose to engage in the refugee crisis themselves. I am happy that I did it after that terrible journey, but I'm also sad and sorry for my family. They are still in homes. I wish they would be safe from the war. I hope so. Oh. What was your feelings when you heard about the war in Syria? I think it's really, really hard actually to imagine what it's like. And I think when you hear these huge numbers of millions of people moving away from their homes and trying to imagine what it must be like to be in a place that's so dangerous where a war is happening is very difficult when you're in a safe place like the UK or America. Um, so I think it was, of course, being really shocked and really upset, but also just wanting to learn more. What do you think about refugees? What made you like think about like filming them? So I think that before I made this film I didn't know very much or I, I basically knew uh, only what I'd seen in the news. So it's you know a few minutes of seeing people um, in these terrible situations but I'd never really heard firsthand from a refugee. So before I got to Germany to meet Hamza and her family, um, it was very much just going in, being open to, to kind of learning from them, really. Um, and I think there was a few things that I learned having filmed them and spent time with them is just how much as a human being you can go through, especially if you're with your family. And I think just having their family love around them meant that they could get through the last few four years that have been so difficult. Um, and I think the second thing is that because they're refugees, it wasn't a choice that they're leaving Syria. They had to leave Syria. So they kept saying eventually they really want to move home. They want to move back. But just right now, they need help um, for the meantime. How long did it take to make the film? So usually uh, documentary films can take a year to make or five years to make or months to make. So with this film, it was really important because it was something that was so current in the news. It was really important to us to get it out there as quickly as possible because it wouldn't be helpful if we waited years to make a film. So we had two weeks of pre-production and pre-production is where you're like booking your flights, getting all your equipment together, just kind of preparing to leave. Um, and then we had two weeks of shooting. So we were in Germany for two weeks with, uh, with Hamza and her family. I think when you have to do something and you have a deadline, even if it seems completely mad at the beginning of it, we just, you just make it happen. And yeah, it, it's not the perfect film and it doesn't end up being, you kind of at some point just have to say this is okay and let's share it and the most important thing is to get people watching it. How does it feel that you might inspire people to help refugees and welcome them into your home? Um, that's a really good last question. I think it feels, I think it feels wonderful. I think it's great to do, to make something and work towards something and if one person at the end of it ends up volunteering and helping a refugee, then that's great. That's really worthwhile. So um, yeah, I think it's a really good feeling and it's, it's good to just think about what you can do and, and then use your skills and your resources and, and help other people. So. Thank you.